All right, let's play some wingspan. Uh, we'll play with the three RDI. Hopefully they don't take too long. That's one thing I've noticed is that the hard AI takes forever on its turns. At least we're not last. Big point, American Woodcock. Not too impressed with the tray. Egg heavy first three rounds. Starting hand, I like the Mockingbird. It's our bonus card. Ground nest, lines up the round bonus. Birds with at least four eggs laid on them, I hate that one. Well, not liking my opening hand here. I'm take the Mockingbird. No good way to draw for cards either off the bat. This is a tough situation to be in. So I think I'm going to take Turkey Vulture with the idea of putting him down in the forest to help generate food. Yeah, this isn't a good position to start in. Let's see what happens. Should almost put in a mini game here while we're waiting for our turns, that'd be nice. Go old school with some Pac-Man or Frogger. see what they're up to. It's got nothing, it's got nothing, it's got nothing. All right, our turn. Someone scooped up the woodcock, the willet is out. Not a horrible Play for the start of the game, one food for four points. Not terribly impressed with him though. Mountain Bluebird could be good. Good egg capacity. Don't really have anything to play off it though. Let's just go with the Vulture. Gives us one egg for the first round bonus. Is there a cherry in the feeder? There's not. Just thinking about picking up the yellow breasted chat but I don't like the food costs average egg capacity boy at this point I think I am gonna grab Willet ruddy duck that's one I want that'll help me dig for cards See if it's still there when our turn comes around. I don't know if I want to throw the Mockingbird in the water line. Copy the Ruddy Duck. Right, we'll go 
right for the ruddy duck. And Willet does line up with our bonus card and the third round bonus. guys decided to do anything yet. He's got the King Rail on a horrible card. Great Horned Owl, that's a good play. Turkey, so they're going for the big bombs. Alright, what are we doing in response? Drawing cards. I'm actually going to use the Wheat, so I have the Worm for Willet. Mockingbird if I decide to go that route. Good egg capacity on the Ruddy Duck. So I'm going to be looking at three cards for activation now. I'm going to discard one, but a pretty good card advantage here. I'm probably going to draw into something that will get me out of this difficult position. Four activations left. Might be able to capitalize on the Bluebird. Big Point Bittern. Not happy with either one of those. I don't know what to think about the Avocet right now. I don't think any of my opponents are building in the grassland. It looks like he just played the Finch and the Bunting. So maybe... At this point, I'm not gonna leverage the Pelican at all, I don't think, successfully. Bad there's no bonus for water birds right now. Seem to be accumulating those. I wonder if I just don't throw the mockingbird down in the grassland and hope for the best for the future. Draw some more cards. I think I'll take the bluebird. Hmm. Not digging the crossbill right now. Not really drawing any great options here. We're gonna have to make a decision on how I'm gonna advance fairly soon. Maybe play the chickadee, start getting some food for some of these expensive cards I have. And just roll with those. Side of the round one bonus there. So fixated on trying to dig out of this hole. But we have a little bit of a path here. It's not a great path, but we'll be scoring decent points in birds anyway. All right. 
right. Throw down the chickadee. Now we're in a better position to gain food. Vulture is in a good position here. So we just have to hope the owl gains food a bunch of times. Shipping Sparrow is a good target to play off the Bluebird. Let's go for some more food. Fish and worms. Take the fish. for that yet. Need more food. Looks like our path to victory here is going to be just playing high VP birds. something about our egg situation here pretty quick. Probably pick up the chipping sparrow for that. Pass on that. 
or give it to them rather. Wood stork, dark eyed junko. Hooded mergander isn't helping us this game. Wilson Snipe is one food for five VP. That's pretty good. Lines up with our bonuses. I'm gonna wanna play that as well. position right now. Let's we'll see if we can dig out of it. Considering at this point, maybe throwing down the Dark Eyed Junko and running eggs, we've got a fairly large egg capacity at this point. First things first, we need food. I'd like to play the Wood Stork eventually. scoop up that warbler but I got enough in my hand that I want to start making plays on this. Might be worth throwing down the mockingbird now at this point to copy eggs off the sparrow. Don't really have the card drawing power to make effective use of the junko long term take that. And won't make much use of that either. So, cherry and a worm. Let's take the worm, reroll, grab the cherry. Drop the Mockingbird next turn. Then we'll run eggs. Oh, we don't have any ground nests. Play the Avocet and Will It, and then run eggs. So now we're getting three, four, 
five eggs per activation. Not sure at this point. It's probably just worth it to go for the eggs. Cast and Sparrow. Four activations left. Don't have the food to play it. That's really where we're getting into a bind right now is our food. We've got nine activations left. Nine is 45. Definitely don't have the egg capacity for that. So we got some time here to get some food. Turkey Vulture started doing something for us. There we go. Let's see. Take the wheat. Weird, just once between turns. What did I just miss? Well, well I'm not gonna argue. All right, so. Need a rat. Let's actually throw down the Abacet. We need eggs first. play the set. Let's think about this for a second. Cherry could get the reroll. Pick up another worm. Could use a rat as well. Let's run with food. No rat. of the round three bonus here. It's really really boiling down to a 
culmination in the fourth round. A lot of expensive birds, no real definitive engine other than an egg engine here. So the opposite again. Kind of an unexciting game. of getting established in the forest for food generation. We did pick up six points on the chickadee. Building an egg engine that we're now leveraging in the last activations of the game and just playing big point value birds. That's three eggs I've lost off the abset now for not having the right nest. Go for will it. You can only hold two eggs anyway. So we're going to pick up three, four, five. Times two, ten more eggs. Oh, make that eleven more eggs. At least the vultures coming through for us here. That's 
four eggs. What? Wouldn't have been able to. Well, what do I got here? Dark Eyed Junko. Really wasn't in a position to take advantage of his power. I don't think it would have been worth it to play him. We're doing pretty good on our egg generation here. Looks like we triggered our Christmas present again. Totally by accident. Vulture helps us get eggs. one short on our egg capacity anyway. We did a good job of filling that in. And we secured the round four bonus. We needed that. Oh geez. We're gonna have to make it up on eggs here. lost by one point. I thought we were going to squeak it out. Let's see what he had. Nothing too exciting. He's just playing big point birds and laying eggs. Sometimes that's all it takes. Yeah, definitely a, a slow game. Hard game to navigate. Consider this a bad game for me, but can't win them all, right? Sometimes you get a bad hand. Well, thanks for watching.